In this video, we are going to look for the in teams. We reviewed the dashboard, and now we are going with the main thing. Uh, the second thing in is teams, and under teams, there are manage and team policies. So, let's see what's the manage. So, this is like all the teams will be listed here different. You are an admin. You are not part of them you are as the admin you can manage all of them and then the one of their uh, like leader can be an admin as well so if you were to add a team you can click here M give it a name for example let's see um, <coughs> April this is the month of April so April 20 <coughs> oh, 2020 description team meetings and schedule so this is that you can define who is the team owner and it could be <clears throat> anyone like I said since if you're an admin you don't have to be the owner it will be somebody else rather than the you are just the admin managing the back end and there could be if you're a larger organization there could be thousands hundreds of teams and for example on my floor there are i would say 20 cubicles 20 supervisor so each supervisor will have his own team you can put, uh, make him the admin each sup so i remove this name and i say let's search ali ali could be a su you see supervisor so ali could be a uh, t team admin i could s make uh, uh, Obama I search Obama now Obama Obama is the um, leader or team owner or in other words admin for this team <coughs> you can say privacy the that is that uh, how they want this team to be set up private means that only the team members will have access to it public will means that anybody can look peek and see what's going on so it's really up to you and all you have to do is just click create team it will show up here <laughs> so over here if you see that it's right there you see how many channels in it by default every team will have the general channel in there by default it will have members defining like how many members are you see sales have five five but charter as a whole organization has 16 everybody's a member of that team if a message was to be sent on charter it will uh, everybody will receive it but if a message was sent in sales only sales department uh, team members will receive that message that's how you get it still if you if, if you really must it, it look acts like a yahoo rooms uh, chat rooms um, i'm talking way back it department has one channel and one member desktop support has just one channel and three members so this charter has two channels actually you can create more channels like if they want to the team members who is the members is listed here but the owners can there be more than one owners let's find out and add it so you probably now it gives you more options conversations like how many conversations are there then the channels and all that so is there any option to add more probably it's not to be done from here it will be to get to the members and make them owners uh, uh, how many guests guests are people that uh, you invite them that may be long to another organization other than yours so everybody who is already in your organization working in the same company is actually um, you can just add them as a regular member but guests are the peoples that for example um, you buy um, toner toner from HP and you buy computers from <clears throat> Dell and you buy some paper stationery uh, the uh, printing papers from Mason so you can have one of their employees or more uh, as a guest in different your teams if you are working on a project that requires collaboration so and again this is privacy so 
over here description is that we set up status is the active or not you see this the very first one right here april 2020 it's not there's a dash meaning it hasn't gone nobody has even posted that's the group ids there and the classification so let's go into one team if we can from here from probably not we have to go to the user and then make them uh, a member or owner uh, ad admin type of thing let's see if I can click here what does it it's just for the added column like what information shows up here then if you were to delete a team you can select it the check mark will appear here and you can delete for the edit that's the button but what if happens if I click on charter it has taken me to the, oh chart and dashboard okay for the charter dashboard if you see over here uh, okay let's go back show you again but you have to actually click on the name like this if you click here it does the whole it selects the whole call, uh, row but if you click on it it will open properties for for example now I'm gonna go to the users and Brock's um, properties you see it's about Brock so we can go back and this is the charter we see that this is the member there are all the members here we can make more people a Brock is a member and Imran is the owner so this that this for the charter okay let's go and then if there is another member we can change it into owner as well the channels like how many channels they have just like before we can add channels here click and name them that's how you add the channel let me show you on from the teams from this one that we just created April 2020 we click here we see Brock Obama is the owner then we can add members probably search by searching if I add Imran nobody's here nobody's home so where? Oh, again it goes back to user tab that we have to add from there so if I click here can I no yes settings so these are all the settings um, so you have to add members from this tab here users oops my bad so you can add members from add and here you can search all the members like uh, if I search I have the Imran I can add Imran then I, if I search I can add all the presidents in our case we're gonna go with Bush we can add Bush then we can add Trump and finally we can add Bill and apply all of them will appear here and if we were to make we can make Bill Clinton an owner as well and you see it changes here and if we go back to manage teams it should show two refresh where's the refresh button mm, let's refresh it here then <coughs> it's it says owner as a conflict there so it can deem owners for this okay we can go back in there and there are two owner actually so that's the like there can be only one owner let's see we made it and we saved we can go back to teams you refresh it here <coughs> it's still there wow why you haven't added any team owners for this team I did there's no save button let's click on edit conversation channel so there's nothing in here and this he's the owner Bill. anyways let's go to channels and you see these are the channels we can add another channel here we can name it for example uh, week one and we can activity on week one we can see it's a private or standard we give with standard apply it it should there 
and then if we were to edit a channel we can select it and add it we could delete it but if we were to go inside we can go click on here and we see all of the users in here just like we uh, these are the members of this channel plus they are member of the group as well team as well if you would like and then the fine uh, the other thing that was there these are all the teams archive if you no longer want for example it becomes may 2020 then you can archive this one and if you were to archive it will not show up here and it's archived so we will leave it over there and and you see the owner the triangle has gone if there's a slight uh, delay in that uh, it's back now it's uh, all right anyways and we have four teams one two three four that's why it's showing four because this one is archived and there is a latency issue I believe it says archived and active are four so let's exit out of here and go to the other tab that is team policies actually I'm gonna make another video for the team policy so uh, that will be the next uh, let's wrap this video here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one